Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is my birthday! I decided to watch a movie that so hard to explain. It's going to be The Swan Princess. It's a childhood movie and I loved it a lot when I was a kid. I remember this one time in college, I was with my college roommates. I was like, oh my god, let's watch this movie. I love this movie. And then we were all watching it together. They just turned to me and they're like, Sophia, what is this? And I was like, it's a good movie. Like it suddenly clicked in my head that, wow, this movie is actually like, kind of bad, but I still love it because I have a lot of nostalgia attached to it. However, it's not going to be all positive for this movie. Let me explain to you. I don't think I'm a hateful person. Hate is a very strong word for me and I can honestly say that I don't hate many things. There is one character in this movie that I just hate. It's Prince Derek. Why? Don't even ask me because I don't even know the reason why. Ever since I watched this as a kid, I loved everything about it except Prince Derek. Something about him grinds my gears, okay? If you think I was mean in my Greatest Showman video, <laughs> it's gonna be pure vitriol for Prince Derek. It's completely irrational, but I think that I'm allowed to be irrational every once in a while. That being said, I would say it's a sing-along video, but honestly, I only really know two songs by heart, so let's get into the movie. Without further ado, let's get started on The Swan Princess. I have been wanting to watch this movie on my channel for so long. You don't even understand. Fun fact, I was actually supposed to record a video for this, but they took it off of Hulu. So I was like, okay, fuck you. I'm not renting this movie. And instead, I ended up watching The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Good choice on me because that video is actually one of my most popular videos, so... Also, since it's my birthday and this is a movie about princess... <laughs> a daughter was born and she, she was, was given, given the name, name Odette. Odette. Oh, look at him. He's even annoying in child form! Prince Derek. I like how Odette literally just got born. That is a toddler. They didn't even bother animating like an actual baby. <laughs> the fuck is that? But unknown to all was another plan. That of the evil enchanter, Rothbard. This is like based off of like um, Swan Lake, right? I know like a lot of like Swan Lake um, purists out there like hate this movie. I kind of understand why. I've seen Swan Lake, like the ballet, uh, a few times, and yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, Swan Lake is uh, a lot better. Ooh, you know what's a good adaptation? Barbie Swan Lake. Everything you own, everything you love, will be mine. Bro, you can't talk when your hair looks like that. You think? I'm gonna be scared with a man with a hairline like that. And all hopes turn to that not too distant summer when Derek and Odette would meet. Oh, this song's a banger. This song is a banger. As lovely as ever. Oh, a nest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she just brushes that aside as if a whole ass bird's nest did not land on her head. Hello, Princess Odette. I'm very pleased to- <laughs> Fuck you, Derek. It's okay, I actually don't hate him as much in child form, but his adult self? Mm-mm. Mm. <laughs> Bro, the expressions on their faces? Perfect. Ooh, I can't believe I'm stuck with her all summer. I bet she doesn't wrestle, hunt, or box. So happy you could come, so happy to be here. How I like to run. This is not my, this isn't my idea of fun. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. The watercolor scenes for like the scenery, it's so beautiful. 90s movies, I always rave about 90s animated movies, but it just looks so pretty. Like, look at that. You think she'd take a hint and learn to read. This really isn't fair. We really couldn't care. Boys, it's all or not. This is not my- this isn't my idea of fun ever anyone could see We didn't disagree Summertime was dreaded These are awful parents, they obviously don't like each other Some dangers to will marry Two lands will be united, and with some luck, their marriage rate will soar and lower taxes. 
Koopa that in the song. Doesn't go for the merger. Urge her. For as long as I remember, we've been told we'd someday wed every June until September. I can do much better, I am sure. No, you can't. He's so immature. I see him smiling and my knees start buckling. I see inside him and my doubts are gone. She started out such an ugly Dude, shut up. Shut up! It is you I've been dreaming of. This is my idea. What a good idea. Such a charming and romantic notion. This is my idea. Such a good idea, what a good idea, such a powerful and magic potion, this is exactly my idea of love. And look at that, they completely ripped off the dance scene from Sleeping Beauty. This is my idea. Bruh, ain't no way they fall in love. Okay, you can argue that growing up, they had like small feelings towards each other, but I don't know. I wish they started off the movie with like them getting to know each other a little bit more as adults. Arrange the marriage. <laughs> Arrange the marriage? Bro, you didn't even like her before seeing her just now. Be so serious right now, Derek. You're all I ever wanted. You're beautiful. Brother, this guy stinks! But what else? What else? What, what else? else? He really dug his own grave with that. What, what else, else is, is there? That? Bro, come on. Any sane person knows that's not the answer. You fucking idiot. I can't stand this man. I cannot stand you. Goodbye, Prince Derek. Mother. Derek. Goodbye, princess. That's supposed to be a grown man? Acting like a fucking child? And the worst part is that Odette is still pining for him. After this instant, come on, Odette, come on, Odette, Odette, Odette. You're the stand, the bar is in hell for you, Odette. You should write a book. How to, to offend, offend a woman, woman in, in five, five syllables, syllables or less. less. The best line of the movie. He's probably the best character of the movie, too. You must see something other than Odette's beauty. She's like, you know, how about, and then, I mean, right? He doesn't even know why he likes her. I'll prove it to her. I'll prove my love. Love? What are you proving? Bro, you can't even think of a reason why you quote unquote love her. Oh. Everything you own, everything you love will be mine. <laughs> Dude, this guy, come on, bro. If you want to worry about something, worry about that hairline. I just don't understand. What else did you want him to say? The fuck? Are you serious? I need to know that he loves me for just being me. Yeah, okay. She has a point. Her dad sucks. If you want to think about like true politics, love is like not even part of the equation. Not part of the politics, but like this is a animated romance movie, okay? Who did that? It came so quickly. Can a you great say who it was? Animal. Great animal? It's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. Bro, you're saying sentences right now. Does dad Honestly, was the most useless character. Aside from Derek. Look at this. Like, the um, this animation and the way we're, like, moving through the forest. It's so pretty. Look at it. This is so beautifully animated. Oh, uh, yeah. Here come the sidekicks. They don't even, like, introduce them properly. That's, like, the first time we see them. What I really want is your father's kingdom. Take it, then. You have enough power. Girl. Once you steal something, you spend your whole life fighting to keep it. She wasn't even putting up a fight. What do you mean? She literally said, take it. Oh, dag, protect your kingdom. Your dad just died. You're like the only royalty. If I marry the only heir to the 
throne. We'll rule your father's kingdom together, legally. The great animal's never gonna give her up without a fight. You're not still thinking she's alive? I'm literally this character. If I heard that an animal attacked their carriage and took Odette, I definitely would be thinking she's dead. Lord Rogers, I must object. We are musicians. We are a band and not a band of animals. Yeah, no thanks. This is like a very useless song. Even when I was younger, I never really cared for this song. But like now that I'm older and I rewatch it a couple times, I'm like, damn, they really gave a random song to these musicians that Prince Derek is just like shooting at. He's using them as targets. I mean, obviously it was the Lord's fault for like making the musicians do this. Derek's going along with it. So I think I'm still I'm still justified for shitting on Derek in this instance, too. Day after day, all the prince ever does practice 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 oh wow well this isn't the song that i was gonna sing along to but i guess i've watched this way too many times that the lyrics are just in me <laughs> why don't you take a few days off moose are worth two points whose boot is that he's breathing in like someone's feet odors right now you're a great marksman derek one of the best is brahm like in love with derek why is he giving off lafu vibes like from beauty and the beast no Lose hope, Odette. Wherever you are, I'm gonna find you. He just pisses me off. I'll get her to kiss me. And when she does, poof, you'll change into a prince. I must have those. When she learns that I have risked my life for them, the kissing will not stop. Is the frog prince like a French story? Is there a reason why he needed to be French in the first place? Just curious. How are you gonna get back? <laughs> that turtle did not give a fuck about his safety. If you die, you die. I'm not gonna help you until last minute. <laughs> You know, instead of going through all that effort to try to eat that frog, these alligators should just order a quick and delicious meal from Factor. Which is the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> if you don't know what Factor is, it delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. I personally like Factor because of how fast you can get a hot meal. You just heat it up for two minutes and it's ready to go. This is pretty convenient for when I have late night cravings and don't really want to get out ingredients and cook. And with 34 chef prepared weekly options, it's also great for days when I want a variety in my meals. I live with my parents and my mom likes to make huge portions of food that we eat for multiple days. Sometimes I can get tiring. Like, so sorry mom, but I cannot eat pho for five days straight. And since you don't have to do any prep work, the only thing you really need to clean is your eating utensil. It's perfect. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, who I've worked with before in the past. HelloFresh is for days when I have time and want the full experience of cooking. Factor is for days when I'm busy, but I want a quick meal with the same HelloFresh taste. Now I'm providing you both brands to enjoy with even more meal plan options to choose from so that there can be something for everyone. If you want a quick and delicious meal delivered straight to your door, head to factor75.com or click on the link in the description box below and use code SOFIAFAN50 to get 50% off your first factor meal. Oh, thank you, Odette. We didn't even get to see when they got acquainted. They just put these characters in without introducing them. What the heck? Oh, this song? This song is good. The second song that I know. If I could break this spell. I'd run to him today And somehow I know he's on his way to me Derek, you and I were meant to be Far longer than forever I'll hold you in my heart It's almost like you're here with me Although we're far apart like, I literally don't get you, Odette. Odette, please. You think you're meant to be with Derek? Why? Why? He literally told you that there's nothing to you other than your beauty. <sighs> sure, as the dawn brings the sunrise, we've an unshakable bond. Far longer than forever. I swear that I'll be true. Made an everlasting vow to find a way to you like no love ever know and with your love i'll never be alone <laughs> fucking 
Puffin. They have the randomest <laughs> animals in this movie. The randomest sidekicks. Uh, I'm your friend. If you are me friend, how come- Me friend. I talk like that too. Like, <laughs> like Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. He has me under a spell. You mean a magical- <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> All it takes is just one little word. Will you marry me? I'll die first. But I'll never give you my father's kingdom. Curly. Girl, a couple minutes ago, you were like, take it. It's yours. Derek still refuses to be king unless he finds her death. All that will change at tomorrow night's ball. The trope of like the prince's mom or the prince's parents in general trying to get the prince to like get married, it's always a ball. And do I mind it? No, not at all. Love ball scenes. Seeing pretty dress, big poofy dresses. <sighs> what did King William mean? Did he read all through those books? You're trying to you're trying to convince me that Derek has a mind of his own, that he has a brain. Just make sure you're here tomorrow night. If I leave now, maybe I can be back in time. Maybe. That's not a confirmed yes, <laughs> ma'am. How will I find him? You don't know where he is? I don't even know where I am. I bet he does. Just say Monsieur Rothbart. I'd like Monsieur Rothbart. <laughs> I can't with his accent. Our backs are to the wall. No fear. Cause we have all the courage we require. Yeah. This song's also pretty useless. <laughs> Aside from the first song and Far Longer Than Forever, this movie's songs are just like not great. <laughs> no way, Jose! No chance! No choice. I thought he wanted to gain her favor. Wouldn't he try to like do everything so that she could kiss him? You're gonna get us off Bro, you're the one who almost died last night fucking around with the crocodiles. Okay, for those of you who have like watched this movie, did you know that this woman, she is supposed to be Rothbart's daughter. In Swan Lake, that's his daughter. The Barbie Swan Lake, that's his daughter. There's Derek's kingdom. When <laughs> that map showed you nothing. The great animal until it changes into this. An animal that can change its shape. Okay, you're you're on the right path? Damn, if only Odette's father literally just said it was Rothbart. This awe would have been over so much faster. Oh, you know the great animal when you see it. I'll know. <laughs> you better stay close. He's so fucking stupid. And then he almost shoots down the woman he supposedly loves. Okay, you're going off the notion that it's like a harmless animal that turns into like a horrible beast. The harmless animal could literally be anything anything he's about to go hunt down like every animal in this forest and why is he so sure that it's like an animal and not a human that turns into a beast you know like wouldn't that make more sense because like in this realm i'm assuming that it's not very common that let's say a mouse turns into a dragon but i feel like if you know like humans can do like magic like rothbart then wouldn't it make more sense that it's like a human that can turn into a dragon Bro, he is doing the most right now. Come on. I've got you now. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> no, so cute, actually. A swan? A swan. Come on. <laughs> he has some crazy in his eyes. This one's for Odette. He can't even see us anymore, let alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Why did that give me a jump scare? When your true has you in his weights, fly into the sun and use its light. Follow me. That's a good strategy. Ah, well, what did I tell you? Did? Yes, now you see all Just fly a little lower. What are you doing? Why did you stay in the same spot? Why didn't you fly, but like in the sun? So Odette can obviously speak, right? Can she speak to humans? When she's in swan form, she can talk to Rothbart, but he has magic. So I feel like that doesn't really count. So can she talk to Derek when she's in her swan form? Just yell at his name and be like, Derek, it's me. It's Odette. I mean, I... Mm, but would he be smart enough to believe that? I feel like he'd be like, oh my god, it's a trick. You're trying to trick me. You are the beast. Yeah, never mind. I can't give Derek the benefit of the doubt. All I can think about is how the bottom of her dress is wet. And that water is probably like traveling up her skirt. And also, how shallow is that water? Because they're literally walking on it. God, even his fingers are ugly. Big ass sausage fingers. 
It's him. Who? He has me under a spell. Who does? Can can you say his name? Can you say Rothbart? What is wrong with these characters and just saying, just naming the villain? You must make a vow of everlasting love. You must prove it to the world. Tomorrow night, come to the castle. How is she supposed to go to the castle? I thought I heard. Oh my god, he permanently has that crown on his head now to cover up that bald spot. I've decided to become your queen. You mean? Oh, oh that, oh that made me so happy. Why is he so, why is he so goofy? I don't get why you don't just force her to marry you. Thought you could fool Rothbard, did you? If you want to stop me, you'll have to kill me. No. <laughs> Girl, that's a little intense. I don't think you mean that. Tomorrow night, there is no moon. Derek's mom kind of fucked up with that one. A ball when there's no moon? What are you supposed to look at? Just the stars? You need the moon there too. All right, you either marry Rothbart, who killed your father, and kept you hostage, or you marry Derek. Kind of a tough decision, not gonna lie. I'm kidding, but... Am I? When he makes his vow to the wrong girl, Odette will die. Okay, if Odette dies then you can't get the kingdom. What is- what kind of plan? Oh, his villain song? Interesting choice. It's not a very typical villain song. I intend to eat, eat their lunches for Mr. Mr. Nice Guy, not, not for me. me. Has he ever been a nice guy? Like, I don't get it. This line literally doesn't make sense for his character. I don't get mad, I get even. Yeah. Derek deserved that. Up to no good. I love plotting in this grief repeat of tender no Is his daughter in love with the fucking servant? I don't want red roses. I want white, like a swan. Um, it's a little too late for that. You can't just get white roses that fast. You ever seen a swan, Rogers? If you could play a swan. What would it sound like? Bro, you're so ready to kill her <laughs> like a couple minutes ago. He's so annoying. I hate him. Who's going to be my best man? Yes. You mean you. Oh. Why did that why did that wink give me goosebumps? In like the wrong way. <laughs> Bro, he's so happy. But is she not literally under a spell, under some very dangerous situations? She is literally held hostage. And why is he- why is he prancing around? Like, there's nothing else to worry about? He is so stupid. Oh, oh poor fella. He got lost in the pool. Oh my god, his friend was so stupid. Arriving by boat? That's certainly an entrance. Okay, I would say this is probably the third best song of the movie. Only because the dresses are so sparkly. To the ball. The prince will likely choose his future queen tonight. You'll tell me who it is the moment she arrives. Don't worry, mother. You'll know. Bro, he literally has no worries in the world. Huh? I don't get it. How is he not worried that something might go wrong? Under that ugly head of hair, there is no brain cell. I know that. You just have whole beauty pageants, but I just couldn't resist. Oh wait, I totally thought that that previous song was gonna be this song. I thought it was like all one song, but I guess it's not. This is the song I'm talking about. This is the third best song. Look how sparkly it is. Literally, I put so much glitter in my eye makeup. I don't think you can tell on camera. I put it on for this specific number. Princess is on parade. Literally, child me was eating this number up. <laughs> I loved it so much. Where have you been In all my life? Dude. It's on parade. <laughs> I think this is the last song. I don't think there's like any more songs after this. Bro, and the the dress that she's wearing, it's so like not not of the time. They drew her so sexy in like the most modern gown. I'm not gonna say that she doesn't slay though. She looks really good. Well, I mean fake Odette, but if Odette wore that dress, she would slay. Who is it? Do you know her? 
What do you mean? Do you know her? Wouldn't you recognize that that's literally the dead princess? Imagine if like Odette actually died and Derek just like found another girl that looked exactly like her and wants to marry her. I mean, it wouldn't really matter to him because the only thing he really liked about Odette was her beauty, right? Like not even her personality. So a lookalike would be good enough for him. Would it not? Would it not? Would it not? Tell me I'm wrong. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Every time it's a scene with just like these three characters, I tend to zone out. I honestly just like don't care about these characters. I like how like the character design for these crocodiles, a lot of animated movies have the same crocodile characters like Princess and the Frog. And what was it? What was it? Like all dogs go to heaven? What? What is it? Like, what are you doing? Okay, that answers my question. So I guess she can't talk to regular humans. After tonight, everything will be perfect. Yes. Yes, of course. I don't like how he put the necklace over her her hair like that. That's not how you put on a necklace. She has to lift her hair and you put it around her neck. Now I'm just nitpicking. I make a vow of everlasting love to Odette. Odette will die. Odette! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Dumbass. I mean, poor Odette. Like, she doesn't deserve to die, but I just love seeing Derek suffer a little bit. <laughs> Bro, I'm surprised his friend didn't get gobbled up by fucking crocodiles. No. You'll live, Odette. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Love you, Derek. Why? Oh, this is- this is a scene that my friends and I always laugh at. I made the vow for her. her. Do, Do you, you hear? The, the vow I, I made was for her! <laughs> Why is that so funny? The great animal. Yes, yeah, stupid. He totally forgot about the great animal up until he found Odette. As if that wasn't an active threat. Derek's bow! <laughs> Swim to the bottom of the lake and get the bow! <laughs> Yeah, if it weren't for these random three characters, Derek would be so fucked. And I kinda wish... Kinda wish... <laughs> oh, he's getting his ass kicked right now. I love seeing that. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No! Oh, okay, callback. This whole battle, it was so short. He changed into the great animal, like, literally... A minute or two ago and now he's dead that's fine this is a short animated movie anyways i love you your kindness and courage i always have i'll give him the benefit of the doubt that he witnessed the kindness and courage from childhood to now and i guess the glimpse of her like flying over to his castle to like warn him at the ball but i don't know <laughs> I am giving him too much credit, I think. I like her wedding dress though. That's cute. <laughs> Why is she still around? I mean, I guess she lost her dad, so she has nowhere to go. But I feel like she should be like in prison. <laughs> Imagine if he was like a frog that gave hallucinogenics um effects, then Odette would be tripping balls. <laughs> I want to know the aftermath of that. When Jean Bob realizes that he's still a frog, does he have like a little mental breakdown? Everything that he's ever known that he thinks he's a prince has been shattered. I want to see that breakdown. Will you love me, Derek, till the day I die? Much longer than that, Odette. Well, I do like the score. <laughs> oh, why do they look like that? <sighs> that was a good rewatch. Like I mentioned before, I've been wanting to watch this movie for so long on my channel. I was like, you know what? It's my birthday. I want to have fun for my birthday video. So I guess I can spare the $3 to rent this movie to watch for my channel. This movie did not deserve my $3, but I think you can tell that this movie is like objectively not very good. It's a very simple movie, you know? It's definitely made for kids because I watched it as a child. I have such a nostalgic attachment to this movie that I just enjoy it regardless. If I had watched this for the first time as an adult in my age right now, I probably wouldn't like this movie very much. Would I still like the songs, uh, the first song and Far Longer Than Forever? Maybe? I'm not sure. They're like the only two songs that I like sang full out for. In that first musical number, they did such a good job like establishing Odette and Derek as like kids. How they had like a 
the sort of enemies to lovers pipeline, their facial expressions, the animation for them, and like how they interact with each other was so good. And then they grew up to be the blandest human beings out there. Derek sucked no thoughts in that brain of his and odette sorry to like agree with derek but like she kind of did only really have her beauty going for her she had no personality odette didn't really do much in this movie except when they went to grab the map and then her going to the ball in her swan form but i feel like those ideas weren't really up to her they were like the side character's ideas and then she went along with it and yet Derek still didn't deserve her. Also, did you know that the singing voice for Odette? Liz Calloway. She does the same singing voice as Anastasia, talented singer. Lover, lover, lover. Despite not really knowing how I feel about this movie, like I love it because it's a childhood movie, but I also don't love it because Derek's fucking stupid and also the movie itself is kind of stupid. I don't know, I had a lot of fun. Whenever I rewatch this movie, I usually watch it by myself. I've watched this movie too, like so many times. It's almost like background noise to me. Like my brain kind of shuts off and I'm not like really analyzing it. Doing it for this video. It was really fun like voicing my thoughts that I never really got to air out before and getting to air out my uh, hatred towards Derek. Oh my god. It definitely scratched something in my brain a little bit. I hope you guys had fun watching me uh, <laughs> hate on this movie and hate on Derek. But thank you for watching my little birthday video and spending my 26th birthday with me. Yes, I'm 26 now. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next video.